Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer. Today, we're dealing with stupid aliens that like to redirect blame. Roll the intro. We have received a distress call from a Federation starship, the USS Callisto. It seems the researchers found more trouble than they can handle while exploring the Delta Quadrant. Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost's defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Long-range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth-aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. And will be. Where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Tere homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. The Tere are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. 
They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them, without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. We have arrived in the Terray system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Terray vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Terray thieves will be your undoing. The Terray and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Terray's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Terray do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. There was a firefight here. 
One of the Tere is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from the Klingon. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. You are not Teray. I cannot reveal our secrets. If I may, underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial wall. At the time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. That was not possible. The attackers were Vardwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy! All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault! Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. I blame myself for the Vadwar's return. It was a door best left unopened. No further hostile beams detected. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and align the node. First, you must launch the next final. Link established. No further hostile beams detected. No further hostile beams detected. Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. 
First, you must reboot the core matrix. Next, final. No further hostile beams detected. Defense node online. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors about the Vagwar threat. No further hostile beams detected. I have completed my analysis. Complete the following steps in the correct order. First, you must next, final. No further hostile beams detected. Uplink reinitiated. We had to ally ourselves with the Turei to escape the Vagwa. My analysis of this node is complete. Execute the following steps in the correct order. First, you must... Connection reestablished. Warrior! 
I need assistance at the central tower. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and no realigned to the central today. hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. The Jurei took control of Underspace after the Vaudois were defeated. Clearly, the Vaudois object. Vaudois reinforcements approaching. Vaudoir are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. are a tenacious fighter. We must be more so. No further hostile beams detected.
No further hostile beams detected. It is not odd. Voth reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vodwa do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. Seven of nine. Admiral. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You woke the Vodwar! Vodwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believed their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vodwar have returned. And no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Ture. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vodwar, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire Quadrant is troubling. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vodwar. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. The Vodwar would be an interesting foe to fight, but if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does not bode- Housecoat Gaming signing off.